talk about the opposition. The opposition is now uh, conducted last week uh, a protest, just like um, it brings memories of, uh, uh, you know, in from Nugego Day, if I remember, uh, right, I think about a couple of weeks later, the, uh, the January 8th, uh, 2015 uh, election, you, uh, um, again, Minister Wima, um, were very instrumental in bringing this uh, rally of protest that led to uh, the return of um, Prime Minister Mahindra Rajpaksa and also the election of uh, current president Gotabe Rajapaksa and the establishment of the Sri Lanka Pudujana Peramuna as a winning party from that point onwards. Nugegoda, the Mahinda Sulanga, you were very much instrumental and you did this. And uh, you all were very powerful in terms of telling the people what kind of error they made in 2015 with regard to the economy, with regard to where the direction of the country that was uh, going on and with regard to the presidency, what kind of errors. And after five years, we saw the nonsense that occurred within the good governance and, and what you all said at that time, 2015, was completely accurate. Now, fast forward, you all are now in the power. You all are the uh, big kahunas, if to, uh, so to say. Um, the opposition is doing the same, taking a, a page from your playbook and doing the same thing right now. Uh, saying that the country is in shambles, uh, asking the question, then Sapada, <laughs> which was something that uh, uh, was uh, synonymous with the uh, current Are you prime fine minister. Now? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, now they're asking that question from you all. Uh, and your response is quite similar to what the good governance did at that time. What's going on, Minister? Why is there protest? Why is there people gathering around the opposition, around uh, uh, um, opposition leader Sajid Premadas? Why are they? Why is why is this happening? Uh, is the is the country so bad right now? Well, firstly, as you correctly pointed out, I was in the forefront of leading the protest against the previous government. So, I admit the right of the opposition to express their views against the government. We are not against it. That's a right that we enjoyed with great difficulties, with huge resistance. So the opposition should have the opportunity to express themselves. There is no doubt. But as a, if the opposition is concerned and conscious about the people, Opposition claims that they are mm -hmm. doing everything for the betterment the people. of the people. So people must be, must be the focus. If it was the case, they shouldn't have staged their protests in a more innovative, alternative manner, understanding the li limitations and the difficulties caused by the ongoing pandemic. They are not the government, as you know, when, when the Minister of Health gazetted that Sri Lanka is facing a pandemic, the authority, the real authority would shift from the cabinet to Director General of Health. All cabinet decisions are subject to the guidelines given by the Director General of Health. Director General of Health and Medical Officers Associations have repeatedly said we must avoid mass gathering to, to control the pandemic. So in this backdrop, the opposition shouldn't have staged that kind of a mass scale protest if they truly love the people of this country. I do admit and I repeat that they have the right to uh, express their views, but they should have found alternatives. The opposition is coming back and he hitting that particular uh, statement, saying then why did you all have this entire uh, ceremony uh, last, uh, what do you call it, Thursday uh, in Anuradhapura in order to open up uh, a, a new new uh, Chai uh, a, a temple and, and try to you know do that kind of thing. So how is, how is that different from what the opposition did? Well, uh Example sense, yes, we should minimize the people as much as possible, but uh, the two examples quoted by the opposition to criticize the government are of course wrong. One is SLPP convention, the second one is uh, Sandahiru Sai opening yeah. ceremony. Both those events were arranged according to the guidelines because mass protest 
now look at the photographs of the uh, sandhi rusai opening people are very calm quiet maintaining the distance because they all were sitting there mm. seats being allocated according to guidelines so the the function has been organized according to the guidelines but here in the protest now take you may have the video clips yes. just look at both and compare the protest people were together uh, you know they were sweating then they have to and they got wet then they had to remove their mask and they were all together and some people were drunk then they don't know what they are doing so in this context right th- th- that particular event has broken the guidelines given by the director general of health so we are not we, so we have a very simple question to pose my Uh, good friends in the opposition for before sh- talking about the they are allowed to the general public at least show your love and care to your own party members if you risk not only the lives of your party members their family members as well so uh, we should practice what we preach and we must preach what we practice that's the words of gautam buddha so uh, unfortunately the opposition doesn't practice what they preach <laughs>